Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to continue talking about the back end of WordPress. And now we went over the first few options here, our dashboard, posts, media pages, and comments. And now we're going to talk about appearance plugins, users, tools, and settings. Now, many of these things will have more in-depth uh, tutorials later on specifically about what you can do with the entire power of them. But right now, we're just going to talk about generally what you can find in these sections. So let's go ahead and click appearance here. Now you'll notice there's a lot of things under appearance. We can change our theme. Uh, notice how the one we have is 2014. There's also 2013. We can activate just by clicking on this activate or see a preview with this live preview button. You also see the 2012 theme down here or there's a big add new theme button. Notice how we can also get to this add new theme button right here or we can search through our installed themes. Customize allows you to change components of your theme. Now, not all themes will have a ton of customization options, but themes with this option will have these options here. You can see uh, the title and tagline you could modify here, although there's other places you can modify that as well. The colors, you could select a title color if you so wanted to. Um, now we have a red title. Um, we could also select a background color. We could have a background image if you'd like, or you could upload a new one. Under static front page, you could set to be your latest post, which is the default, or you can select an actual page. Selecting an actual page lets you choose the uh, page you want. So we have sample page here, and then you would then pick another page for your posts page. Since we only have one, we wouldn't want to do this quite yet. Now, featured content is a way to say what your layout is. You could have it be a slideshow or a grid, um, and this is content with the featured tag. Now, we don't have any posts with the featured tag quite yet, so we're just going to go over exactly what you can do with that later. And keep in mind that it is specific to this theme. Now, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to actually keep those changes. We also have widgets, which are things that are built into WordPress or that you could have as plugins that you could drag and drop into places of your site. Notice how we have a sidebar, a content sidebar, and a footer area. And these areas are built into the theme of your site. Now, when you download new themes, they might have different widget areas. And if you're building themes, you can create your own widget areas. Now, if we wanted to have a calendar or maybe uh, categories or a pages listing or a tag cloud, all we have to do is drag and drop these into one of these widget areas. We can give it a title and we can check some options. Also, we could click delete and it'll just remove it from this widget area and then it's back here. We'll go over more about these widgets in the future. Menus is a listing of our menus. Notice how we don't have any menus right now. The menus area is quite large and there's a lot to go over here. So we're gonna talk about this more in greater detail later, but just know that you can create new menus and add pages to menus here. The header section allows you to select an image for your logo, change some header text showing you what the header text will look like, and allows you to change the text color. Again, this is based on your theme, and if you are familiar with CSS or any of those uh, styling front end coding languages or anything like that, you might want to do all your styling through CSS rather than uh, the, the appearance settings in your theme. Again, with background, this is some of the same things we saw with customize, where it allows you to upload a background or change the background color. And editor is where you can actually edit the text files for your theme. If you have PHP experience, you can go ahead and modify the PHP files here directly, or you can modify the physical file on your own, uh, in your own text editor uh, a different way, and we'll go over that process later. But if you maybe want to make a quick edit or something, you can come in here and do that here. Uh, now, next up, we have plugins. This is where you can see what plugins come with a WordPress, which is this Hello Dolly. It's not a plugin, it just symbolizes hope and enthusiasm, an entire generation summed up in two words. So basically, it just it's an example plugin. It, it puts Hello Do Dolly, uh, a lyric from Hello Dolly, in the upper right hand corner of the admin screen if you want it. And to activate a plugin, you would just click activate like this. And then now we have, well, hello, Dolly, up top here. To deactivate it again, we can click deactivate. And to remove, we can just click delete. We could also find new plugins by clicking add new here. 
and we could search or use the tag cloud to find types of plugins we want to find. For instance, if we wanted something that brought in a Facebook like like button or something like that, we could click Facebook and we see we have a Facebook wall integration, social integration, that sort of thing, and you could click install now to install those widgets. Again, we have editor, which allows you to edit your various plugins. Now, this is only for people who have experience with PHP or CSS or JavaScript. If you come in here and start editing your PHP files, chances are you might break them, especially if you don't know the code. So next we have users, and this is all the users on your site. Just like content or posts or anything like that, we have a listing where you can have bulk actions, you can change the roles, or you can edit your users, and you can add new users. Right now we just have one and it's an administrator. If we click add new down here or up top here, we're going to get to a form which allows you to add a new user, and they can be a subscriber, contributor, author, editor, or administrator. And now these roles out of the box all have different implications, and we'll go over what those implications are. You can even change what access these users all have. Now, your profile is really just talking about your personal profile. You can change the color scheme. So right now, the editor admin color scheme is this. If you wanted to change the color, you could have it be any of these. I personally like a lot of these. So I'm gonna change mine to midnight because I like the way this looks. And now um, we can scroll down here and just click update profile. Now my admin theme is going to be using this orange color from now on. Next, we have tools. Now, tools is just some stuff that can help you out. We have this press this drag and drop uh, bookmarklet that you can use to actually post content from other pages uh, from anywhere you're browsing something and you want you see something you want to grab so you can use this bookmarklet to use. We also have a categories and tags converter. Um, that's if you wanted to convert the two uh, across each other. There's also import tools, so we can install uh, something that allows you to import your live journal or your blogger so that you could come from something like Tumblr and move to WordPress. There's also export, where you can export all of your content into an XML file, which you can then use to upload somewhere else or do whatever you'd like with it. Next is we have settings, and settings is really just your site settings. Uh, in appearance, I mentioned that you would have somewhere else where you could change the site title and tagline, and this is most likely where you'd be doing that, not within your appearance customize. So if you want to edit something like the name of the site or the tagline, so we could have this be free tutorials for everyone. like that. Now that's our new tagline. You could also change the administrator's email address or the site's email address, I suppose, but it is the admin administrative email address of the site. You can change the membership status, whether or not anybody can register or not. You can change date formats, basically a lot of stuff here. Now if we click save, it's going to say your settings have been saved. Next we have writing. Now these are your writing uh, settings. So these settings will be Anything that has to do with your posts, it gives you another access to this press this bookmarklet. Uh, you can set a default post category, a default post format. Um, you can post via email. Here's some settings here. Um, and we'll go over how to do that in later tutorials. Reading has to do with how your content is displayed. Now, again, we in the appearance uh, customize, we were able to change things like this front page display where you could have your posts not be the home page. And the home page could be a page that you create through pages here. Now you could also do that here. And again, this is most likely where you'll be updating that. Now blog pages will show at most 10 pages. We could up this to anything we want. Syndication feeds show the most recent 10 posts. And these things are all pretty standard unless you have needs for otherwise, uh, you can change them at your discretion. Now you can say for each article in a feed, show the full text or just a summary. Now if you didn't want uh, a search engine to see your site, you could click this checkbox and it's going to discourage engines from indexing. But you probably want search engines to index your site anyway, so it's better just to leave that unchecked. Now discussion. Now discussion, these are essentially your commenting settings. Now you can go over these at great length, but these allow you to control exactly how comments are made or posted on your site. It actually allows you to choose default avatars as well if you'd like. 
um, and it's pretty cool. Basically, uh, it allows you a lot of flexibility and it's really easy. So go ahead and look through these commenting sections or uh, settings and make sure that the right people are allowed to make comments on your site and they are set to be the right things. Now, media is how media is going to be handled. You can choose your thumbnail size, medium size, and large size. You can also organize you can also check if you want your files organized for you, and we could save these changes here. Permalinks is how the URLs are going to display in your site. Right now, our URLs are going to display as slash question mark P equals and then the ID of the content. So let's go to the front page of the site. If we were to go to a blog post right here, you'll see since this is the first blog post, our URL is question mark P equals one. Now, it's common to not have these, these queried uh, URLs, and you want to have nicer looking URLs. So you could pick which one you want. You can even choose a custom structure, uh, which we'll be going over later. And for now, I'm just going to have post name. That way we have a nice URL with the title of the post. Now, there's some optional stuff here, but we're going to go over URLs in a bit more detail later. So let's click Save. Now, when we come to our front page, click on our post, you notice our URL actually says hello world now instead of uh, p equals one, which is quite a bit nicer. Now keep in mind if you you know want to focus on your content editing, you can always click this collapse menu and it makes this nice small menu. What's really great about this WordPress theme is that it makes it really nice and friendly to mobile. Notice how when this gets shrunk down here, we can click on this menu here to access the menu, go to our post or something, all posts, and this is a nice interface for modifying on your phone if you have to. So WordPress really excels in the user experience, especially on the administrative section of the site. So this is the tour of the back end. As always, there's a quick access menu here if in case you want to add new media post pages or users, and there's some additional stuff here and there that we'll go over in due time. So as always, if you have any questions, this is Scott with Love Love Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.